A two-hour drive north from Portland, Maine will take you to the small town of Bangor. Like many towns, children within a mile of their school do not take the bus. Although they have to bear the occasional single-digit mornings, they also get to do so with some of the local heroes at their side. The Walking School Bus is a program that has been going on in Maine in several schools. And it came to Bangor a few years ago at the Down East School with the goal of trying to get kids out in a fun, energetic way, getting some exercise in the morning, walking with teachers and staff people, community people, and building those relationships. One of our faculty liaisons that we have through the university, you know, brought up the idea about helping out these kids, uh, you know, walk to school because they're in, within a certain mileage you have to take the bus. I and mean, if you're not within that certain mileage, you obviously have to walk to school. It was very exciting for us. We work closely uh, with the with the football team, the, the coach and and other representatives to set it up. Well, we got things done very quickly. They had to do a little training, and then they came out on Wednesday mornings and walked the kids to school every Wednesday in the spring. When we first did it, I thought we just simply walking kids to school in the morning. That was it, nothing to it. But after a while, we started doing it more and more. Then we found ourselves in recess with them and start playing games with them. It's just a lot of fun and. Just the reaction from the kids is probably, you know, worth it. For our students, it's hard to see the outcome of why I'm working so hard now in third grade or second grade. Being able to play on a college field, that is a dream a lot of our students have. So being able to share that dream and that aspiration with the football players was amazing. We're almost floored, you know, by meeting the main Black Bear football players. And we're the only Division I institution in the state. So it's huge for these kids and then they look up to us and it's just a great experience. I was really excited and seeing if I would know any of the players. At first I didn't, but then I met a player and then me and him interacted as friends. He gave me a, a draw on the first day, well the second day actually, so I was favorite player, gave me a draw and then again on Meet the Bears night he gave me another draw. I was like, oh, I gotta do something special now. So I found my gloves, I, my first college pick, I gave them to him. So something hopefully he can remember and keep on for the rest of his life. It's funny because after the first time you do it, you, you kind of see how both sides reacted and our guys wanted to go back just as bad as the kids wanted us to come back, so that was great to see. I think it's just so cool to be able to, to be a role model in this community for our kids and yeah, everyone's a, a Celtic fan or a Patriots fan and stuff like that, but like I said, the University of Maine around this area is really what these kids look up to in terms of sports and we play a huge role in these kids' lives and it's just a great opportunity and I can't thank the parents enough for allowing us to get involved in that. Life after football, I'm going into my senior year, so now I just realize like I'm bigger than football. Like, people don't just look at me as a football, I'm a role model to some kids. Like it just showed me a lot, like I can really give back in different ways. <laughs>